Two words to think about for our next feature on Atlanta Eats. Iconic and authentic. Iconic because it's one of Buckhead's iconic restaurant and bars. Been here for over 20 years from the original Buckhead Bar and Restaurant Seas. And authentic because there may not be a more authentic Irish bar and restaurant in America. Get the fish and chips cranked up. Pour yourself a Guinness. We're going to have some fun. Let's hang at Fado. It's a family affair at Fado in Bucket. Karen Collum, great to be in the most authentic Irish pub in America. You know, when we started in 96, we wanted to do a more modern modern bar. take. There's few places that are as indicative of the neighborhood, right? If you go to Buckhead, you gotta go to Fado. I think friends always have a good time when they come here. They love the food, they love the drinks. The staff here is always very, very attentive. It's a great time no matter what. Service is fantastic. And the pints are fresh, that's the best part. Uh, they have a fantastic upstairs that is open air. It's been my, my regular um, for almost 20 years now, so I, I come here pretty often. Just the atmosphere, it's part of the community, and it just feels like a you know second home. Soccer, Gaelic football from Ireland. We show them no matter what time they're on. We don't just show the big games, we yeah. show all the games. Yeah. You know, World Cup is huge for us, but even like Atlanta United. As a big football fan, big soccer fan, it's whenever my team's playing. It's just a great place to come, watch sports, just be part of the neighborhood, you know? It doesn't matter if I'm here to eat or if I'm just here to spend time with friends at the bar. It's the same experience every single time. I love bringing friends here because we can walk here um, and you can come here for lunch, dinner, sports, music. There's always, you know, a time and a place to come here and have fun. Somebody at the table's got to get the fish and chips, Almost right? Every time. Almost. We catch our cod fillets off the shores of Iceland. That's our number one seller. In number one. Yeah. Smoked salmon bites, they're on a potato bellini. Also available with a cucumber slice, homemade horseradish mayo, capers, red onion, green onion, lemon juice, and cracked pepper. Yeah. And they're delicious. What's a proper Irish breakfast? So we got rashers and sausages, two eggs, sunny side up, and we serve it with mushrooms and tomatoes and obviously toast. Uh, the breakfast, it's yeah. great any time of the day. Sausages, it's you know it's such a, a staple back home. The Reuben. Our Reuben yeah. is like sandwiches, good lunch item, corned beef rolls. Corned beef rolls, right. It's a potato box, yes. potato base, wrapped up with corned beef, horseradish mayo, yeah. uh, onion. All this great food, what are we going to be drinking though? That's important, right? Is that a dumb question? Yeah, a little okay. bit. If you go into any pub in Ireland, probably 60% of the people are going to drink Guinness. Now this is a particular special Guinness. If you look at the top of it before yeah. you drink of it. That is the most handsome Guinness you know, I've ever seen. They talk about putting a head on a pint of Guinness. <laughs> Nobody ever talked about putting your head on a pint of Guinness before. Great signature gin and tonic using gunpowder Irish gin. Old school. With some juniper berries Love in there that. to bring out the flavor. I'm a big fan of the Guinness, but tonight I'm having a gin and tonic because it's spring and it's time for a nice light cocktail. So. On Sundays, it's a really good girls' day out to have the big mega mule. I'm pretty much a lager, lager guy. So I'm on the, on the Stella, Heineken sometimes. An old fashioned, yep. always hits the spot. We do a really good old fashioned. We do the big ice cube. We take a lot of pride in Love it. Love that. We do really good cocktails, Aperol spritzes. The epicenter of the whole social life comes through these taverns and pubs, right? Yeah. Irish people like to drink. Irish people like. There you go. There's a statement that's just. Very powerful, let that sink in. Irish people like to drink. The essence of an Irish pub is to gather and connect the neighborhood. Right. And if you go back to Irish pubs in Ireland, they were the center of social activity in, a, in every town. Yeah, the energy really. of the whole town. How often does somebody from Ireland come in and are blown away? They come up and give All you a hug time. and say, I can't believe this place. I think you hug your uncle uh, Yeah, it's my uncle, I wouldn't even hug him. No. <laughs> to me, it's comfortable and homey. It's such an inviting, relaxing space to it. It's just a place where you know you're going to get an experience that you can rely on. The community and the neighborhood support the restaurant and they're friendly and it's, just, it's a wonderful place to hang out. It's something that knits a, a community together. Beer's not going to drink itself. That's for sure. i got to get these fish and chips. Kieran, Column. thanks my friends. Cheers. Thank for you. Dough and thanks bucket, for coming baby. in. Sponsor here.